Paul, like, if this has been, like, the first time for a couple of these players here, like, I'm not sure if Rebs has made a, a top eight before, but it's, uh, look, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty fresh uh, top eight, all things considered. But we're going to be getting DD Bro on on the sticks here. This is going to be, this is going to be crazy, actually. We, we saw such a cr uh, really close match before from DD Corvid uh, and even Bro One playing earlier. It's uh, just a sight to behold, honestly. All these players are out here to really put their best foot forward and just try take home the title. Yeah, Bro One being the last Queensland representative uh, in this bracket, I believe um, this is probably his first damn top eight. I want to say, at least I don't, I don't recall him making any others. Yeah, there's been some really close ones before. Yeah, yeah. I he's, think he's definitely scraped like ninth. Yeah. Um, I think big majors come to mind that he's sort of done very, very well at uh, the Phantom pre-local. Yeah. I think he, he won that one. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I don't know he's, if he's had much success elsewhere, Yep. I want to say. And DD, a staple of Oz Majors, yep. I think. I, off the Kazuya, if I'm not if I'm not. Yeah, I mean, well, we saw, you know, in top 12 was committing to all Warrior here. Mm. Uh, and even, you know, off screen, some of the matches we've seen have just been all Warrior. So love to see the belief back in the, the tried and true main. Yeah, the tried and true main. I mean, nothing wrong with the Warrior as well. I, I understand, you know, sometimes with Warrior, there are just moments where you're on fire and you're just absolutely churning butter and destroying them, landing Waff confirms and everything. Yeah. But you see you see it happen with Gluto a lot of the time as well when you watch like high level. It's just so hard to get hits sometimes. Yeah. Especially if they're playing around you. In those countries, Steve is still legal. So, you know, the warrior Steve is just like, oh my god, how does he actually how do you get do it? Yeah. And just actually use the stubby man. But yep. you know? And that's the thing, right? It's all about that that stubby that stubbiness that, you know, can sometimes really new to Wario, but here, you know, we don't have Steve enabled, which is, you know, to Didi's benefit, really good here, but we're going to be seeing the Game & Watch come out from Bro1 here. I don't know if he's actually been playing much else. If I think it's just been mostly Game & Watch for the most part. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen the Wolf, to be fair. Yeah. I've seen a lot of Game & Watch. And granted, Bro1 is a co-main for a reason. Yeah. <clears throat> Both characters just as famous. All right, but starting things off here on Smashville, going to get some nice Animal Crossing stage in here. Just shake things up, but yeah, look, I don't really know how much this, how, how how well this goes for either player, honestly. But I think you know one thing is for sure that DD, once you get those combos in, once you get those kill confirms, they're actually going to work so well against Bro One because of how light Game and Watch is. Oh yeah, it genuinely does look a pretty difficult matchup for Warrior, but yeah, just because you have no disjoints to play around with. But again, <laughs> it looks like Warrior's got those disjoints. That back air, repping that back air. Probably one of the bigger and most common kill moves that this character has. Yep. Uh, Leans I love back the... and actually hits ledge hang as yeah. well. Oh. Okay. Ooh, I love the attempt at the bike play, but yeah, unfortunately, I feel like the, the bike play is like a give and take. It's just a, a blessing and a curse because you get sometimes so hyper-focused on the ledge to try to utilize it and you commit so much to a bike throw that sometimes you your opponent gets by for free and in that case, going to get a reversal from DD to take out that first stock. The big perk with Warrior as well, as well, like contrary to his archetype, he has such a good recovery. Like genuinely incredible recovery. Oh, alongside with just the extra jump from the, the from bike. From the bike, correct. Uh, yeah, from the bike. The uh, the air drift on Warrior is probably some of the best in the game. Like genuinely, that was a rough situation and he only had one option, but that was literally him with no resources. Right? Yeah. So the fact that he was able to noodle his way back. Look at the bacon. Definitely. The bacon. My nightmare. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes, Ooh. the fishies. Oi, oi, no uppy that time from Bro One. Again. Oh, the bike helping out crazily there. That was so nice. So much of Warrior's pressure here is just mitigated by that uppy, you know? Yep. Even if you are trying to space your nares, that uppy is massive. It just scoops wherever you are. And you want to get your combo started. Mm -hmm. You want to be floating around Game Watch's head. You don't even have to hit Game and Watch. Yeah. But he will do it. Two minutes are passing the clock here. Wario flashing yellow, brown? Probably brown, right? <laughs> but look. Something smells. Yeah, you can smell brown for you can, sure. You can smell it, dude. You can smell it. All right. It's right there. Oh, oh, oh no, the hitbox extension. I was going to say. Didi was waiting for it, but just a, too little, too late. Pulled the trigger so unfortunately early there. And dude, you saw it from a mile away, but somehow still gets caught by it. That is so unfortunate. But bro, one, probably is reeling back about that so happy i was gonna say the damn 
Ay, 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 ay. Oh, and the dash of that clanking with the bike there. So, Bro One opting for a bit of psych warfare right now. Yep. Seems to be working so far. DD. Can he get in? Can he yep. get something? And the main part here for Bro One is just stay alive. DD is obviously saving that Watt for the final stock here. If you can just manage to stay alive, you will not have to deal with it. Yep. Down tilt, back air. Oh, nice. Good grab. In the corner here. Oh, I love that attempt, but DD pulling the trigger, getting out of disadvantage there with that bike quickly. Oh! Oh, Bacon, watch out. Oh, down, down to, to dash, dash attack. Dash attack. All right, bit of rage. Zero percent. You gotta watch out here. I mean, we just saw a touch of death at zero characters like Rob. Now we've got it in DD's warrior here as well. Gotta be very, very careful. Dude, he snuck in as well. Oh my God. Okay, oh. these trades, not the greatest. Oh, hey, what the heck? Catching the landing. That move is so crazy. How it has like three different interactions. You either get sent at a nasty down angle, you get sent straight up, or you get buried. It's like the casino game, but you just die every time. Yeah. Like, there's no part where you win the money. <laughs> the house it's like always the, wins. The house wins. The house wins. The house wins. Yeah. Bury. You get sent up, or you get sent at the sacre angle where yep. you just die. You know. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Warrior can make it back, but still, you know, you've got to burn like 15 million resources. Yeah, yeah right? right. I mean, that, that's the whole aim of the game, yeah. right? When you're dealing with Warrior here. And Game & Watch is like the perfect character when it comes to burning your opponent's resources. You linger off stage, you got back air, you got up B. It's just reset after reset when it comes to edge guarding here. We didn't see too much of it here, but I'm sure, you know, that's what Bro1's aiming for, right? Drain your opponent of your resources, and then it's just the kills right there for the taking. I mean, Warrior already has, you know, more than average, right? Like, he's better than average resources. Yeah. We see him struggling as well. Hey. But the pick here is going to be going to Kalos. So great horizontal space for these uh, these Nair trains, right? Great extensions, already 60% on the board. This is how the first game started. Real hot from DD, especially for this first stock. Oh, no. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. They just keep hitting each other. They both keep attacking the wall as well. Great awareness from both players. Oh, Bruh, the one. That was so bad. <laughs> that was... Okay, yep. Recognize that it didn't really amount to much. The roll in up B as well. Yep. That time I liked that DD opted to just leave the bike and try just a raw ledge trap instead. Oh, wow, the foot's wow. still there. Bro, what? Okay. Bringing more than your usual Game Watch flavor. Yep. Game Watch normally a workhorse, not really known for style. Besides. <laughs> Well, you got balls of steel for trying to contest that. I was going to say, the, if even the thought of attempt, I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. You're actually ridiculous. Very lucky clank there. But, oh, the wheelie. Not enough for the key. I mean, sometimes you can cheat it. It, it feels so random sometimes. Yeah. You know? It's just like, oh, I guess I just died there. Yep. Not working out. I think that time just clipping Warrior's hurt box. Yeah. I mean, we were saying before, right? DD off to a, like, an amazing start here. But somehow, Bro1 is, is the one coming out on top in this first stock. But quick even. Evening it back up. Yeah, the Game & Watch workhorse. Yes. Oh my goodness. But air dodge in time. And the Nair off ledge. Damage, not a problem. Up to it. Here you go. Here's where, here's where the fun starts. Just juggle after juggle. The slow burn. But finds the way down. Oh, wow! Oh, that man. was the latest neutral air I ever seen and still connected into like such a high half waft and that's gonna be the end of that second stock. Bro-1 was deer in the headlights, man. Even with that up B out of disadvantage, like yep. you were just deer in the headlights there. You had no idea. Yeah. You were like, you're not gonna burn it here. Oh, IDJ getting some nice extra credit but not able to get the full combo ender there. But 31, still solid. Just gotta make sure you don't oh, die here. No. Uh-oh. Oh, the storm! Oh, and oh, the beefy! The... Oh my goodness, that was such a genius recovery. Dude, that is, that is Composure 101. The fact that you like mess up like that and somehow still manage to get back, that is Resources 101. Oh, that is Ace Pilot like threading the needle. Yeah. Oh my god, he even grabbed the startup of the forward smash as well. Ooh. Have you actually seen the reflector come out of the bucket? Oh, net win for DD that, that, that time. Yes, even the hitbox delay. Oh, up behind a shield, nice. beating the grab. It's one of those moves where if you get hit by it on the ground, you just feel bad. Like Warrior up B? <laughs> yeah. Genuinely, genuinely awful. Genuinely, I'm having the worst time. Yeah. And Aditi, this lead, super, super big. Really important here. How do you, can you close out the kill? Okay, up B out of shield. 
Again, the airspeed from Warrior just allows him to reclaim stage so easily as well. Yeah. A big perk of this matchup. Sometimes, bad airspeed versus Game & Watch, you're just in the corner. I'll yep. see you around. You're stuck, stuck there. Yeah. In, in jail. But being able to disengage, yeah, like you said, so important, so mm. useful in this matchup. It might very, be, very yeah, nice. It might be hard because his hitboxes are just everywhere like they are right now, but at the very least, you have some sort of option. Oh, wow, just out of shield. True punish. Damn. That was disgusting. Yeah. That was gross. Jump down B. I actually don't know if the F tilt or the down tilt save for. Obviously, you can do like more of a sliding F tilt with a bit more range. Nah, but that's like, yeah. Just confirm that. Yeah. And that was good as well because, you know, he recognized he didn't have the full waft. He just had like a. Was that half? Half, that was yeah. Half, yeah. So frame data is obviously a bit better. Yep. Yeah, true, true, true. I okay. think that's what's pretty interesting to see too. That I think that might be the um, the switch, right? Opting to use half waft instead of full waft, because uh, we saw it in game one how it kind of really uh, affected trying to seal out that second stock. You know, was taking more chip damage while you were waiting to you know because you want to save that full waft for the final stock, mm. but you know instead you get two nukes by just doing the half not half waft instead. Yeah, you get two like. Uh, mother of all bombs, right? But yeah. you, you don't really get the, the, the gigaton, like, oh, I'm going to destroy everything. Yeah. Not for Game & Watch, I think. You know, Game & Watch, paper thin. Don't really need, like, an obliterate, like a giant kill-all button. Yeah. It's like, now nah, this guy will die to, like, a, a sneeze. Yeah. Right? So I yeah. like it. That's really good recognition. Um, on PS2 now. So 1-1, one, one, a piece here. So this is this is the real difference maker. This game, whoever gets the advantage here, is going to be sitting very pretty. Okay. Back here. Ooh, Ooh, that was mighty close. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So Diddy is known for some sort of absolute baller plays as well, like absolute madman plays. Yeah, some really, really crazy, some really ambitious callouts, but they work, you know. And yeah, it's definitely been the difference maker, right? If he was playing this textbook, definitely would have been a different story. But that's yep. what we love him for. All right, percents still fairly even. Who's going to be able to find that first talk here? Sliding F tilt. Sliding F tilt. Oh, and we saw it before at that time, landing the mark and actually getting the kill there with that down air on the bike. Just F tilt. Just F tilt. Yeah, he's Time looking for something. Space. It's literally hard reading. Yep. And it's so strong as well. I do not blame DD one bit for attempting it. Hey, that be. Yeah, that disadvantage button. Mm-hmm. You see it? You see your shield flicker and just boom. Get me out. So that time one of the uh, one of the F tilts sort of working out. Yep. There, there we go. go. And just, just as you're saying. It. Just repping it. Yep. Hasn't taken too much damage. Stem the bleeding very, very nicely. 30% is easily something to come back from. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Yes. Beautiful turnaround grab as well. Yep. Very easy to mess that input up. Nice. I love the landing catch as well. I mean that's what you gotta do as Game Watch, right? It's being very tricky to try. Punish this character, especially with the up B, down air shenanigans, but we've got full waft here. So are we going to see it sent out, or are we just going to save it for that second stock? Or that third stock, rather? Yeah, the, always always the toss-up with Wario. Burn it now for a nice lead, or save it in case I need a clutch, right? Yep. Oh, the landing hitbox. Bro, one. Oh my oh, god, I thought he was going to send it. I was going to say, a bit of analysis paralysis. He was like, do I go for DD? Do I go for the bike? What do I do here? Yep. Sort of freaked out for two seconds. And oh, the two frame. Okay, didn't need the waft at all. Very, very good F tilt. And now, if you're Bro One, you're shaking. You're really worried because I, I smell something. And I don't like it. Or oh. maybe I do. Maybe you do. Oh, okay, no waft. For it, but that's 60%. 60. 60 you'll take. I mean, that's very easily kill percent for Mr. Game and Watch. Yep. Yes. Oh, once again, dude, that late Nair has been doing so much work, and it's still, and I can't believe how much hits on your stock in to be, still be able to confirm the waff like that. Uh, you can see it, you can see it coming. Any character with that late Nair, yeah. you know, or a landing late Nair that's just like their belly hitbox and it just pops straight up or straight yeah. to the side, regardless of DI, it is, it feels so good. Yeah. It feels so good. Especially when you catch spot dodges as well. Not the oh pro one spot dodges, yeah, but like yeah, they'll yeah, spot yeah. dodge, you land with the soft Nair. Yeah. They're like high percent, you're like, Ooh. boom. Ah. I mean, that's, that's the name of the game, right? Activity. Yes. Just, uh, yeah, that warrior neutral air is probably the most quintessential tool of his entire kit. Mm. Whether, whether you start it, you know, start your combo at low percent with the strong hit or just kill them with the weak hit. Yeah, it does it all, right? It does it all. It does it all. So DD with the, gust, with the gusto play and also, you know, just big waft power plays. Yeah. They're just making the difference right now.
Uh, but pivotal moment here for both players. This is match point for Didi, and it could be curtains for Bro One here. Loses top eight. Someone's going home. Someone's moving on. What happens now? I think Didi on a very good hot streak right now, managing to just evade a lot of Game and Watch's area of effect moves. Yep. Oh, that was a great interaction. Yeah, that time. For Didi. Oh, oh, and the bike as well. Extra credit. Wow. So nice. But Bro One off to a pretty solid start here. 88%. 50% difference, but still in disadvantage for Didi. Bacon. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, the pushback as well with that forward smash. Such a tight window. Those fishies. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. That was such a bad situation. Didi, no bike. The early up B, the up. Oh, oh my dude, god. And the air drift. I was telling you, man. That air drift. He was still going to make it back to the ledge. And then crossed him up. <laughs> oh, the up B sent him in the perfect direction. If you're Didi, tech is. Well. Wow, what a tech. A ridiculous tech. Instantaneous. But yeah, crossed him up and took the hit, right? Like, yep. can't get any better than that. Yeah, and then that's just like another window of life here. We're seeing just how much he can get. He could potentially get the kill here. Max Rage as well. Oh, getting the first stock's huge. Oh! Doesn't matter. I mean, you can't really kill too much if you're below him on the platform. I know. There's a blind spot there when it comes to this, you know, last hit situation. Yeah. You're desperately trying to get the killer's game and watch. Oh, a lot of your kill moves are slow. Punish! Nice. As, as, yeah, as untouchable as Game & Watch is... It's just pockets of blindness. That, that time, bro one. Managed to capitalize, keeping it even. Yep. Didn't lose too much here and still getting that starting combo and pretty much even it up like that. Oh, oh my god, caught the air dodge. Dude, that, that forward air, oh, it's just, disgusting. You air dodge and you see it, they're still there, you're like, all right, I'm done. Oh no. And yeah, like sometimes you bend like a double jump air dodge and you're like, oh no. Yep. It just tracks with you, honestly. Yep. Magnetic. All right, but full waft online now. Okay, landing with the back air. We yep. like it. Nice little active. Hitbox on the way down. Yeah, Didi bleeding out a bit here. Could get a jet out, get out of jail card with that waft, or could be saving it. Oh wow, contesting the up smash barely. Yep, take reclaim the stage. <laughs> he just went coast to coast. He went all the way to the left. He and then backed like, off so far. <laughs> then went all the way to the right. It's like the Tekken backdash into yeah, the yeah, void. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I'm just going back. Yeah, there's no walls here. Ooh. Oh, that was good as hell. I thought maybe a chomp could come out here. That command grab has been doing wonders for Didi, but all oh, the cross up DI. I thought it was going to be sent to the right there. Sometimes at high percent, God takes the wheel there. Yep. All right, but still could could get this actually. Could get this really, really nicely without taking too much damage here. Quick revenge kill potentially for Didi and still has a very strong comeback mechanic waiting in the back. It was threatening with setup normals, you know, that down tilt and that F tilt. Just kind of coming through just yep. to preemptively catch some sort of movement, but once again, Bro One just not taking the gamble in the first place. Uh oh, oh, oh yes, didn't the pop the dash yeah. attack, but that's fine. Yeah. Grab just as good. I think that it would have been sour spot. Or would have just whiffed on the air dodge. Well, just chip damage for Bro One. Yep. Yeah, did he really think? Oh, oh yum! Oh. Bit oh. of breakfast. Optimal. The heck. Oh, is, is that, that going to kill? No. No, no, not even close. Yeah. Compl it is, completely yeah. horizontal, not, no, no verticality at all. And it's completely random which direction that sends you in. Yeah. Insane trade for DD. Yeah. The most value trade you'd ever get. It'll take upbeat damage trade any day of the week in exchange for a kill. Yep. All right. Bike is back online now, but got to be careful. Oh, my God. Jesus. We've seen characters heavier than Game Watch die at 14. Yep. So, if provided you're near that blast zone on the right and the left. Yep. Oh, how do you get Tense. out of here? Didi being super evasive in the ledge here. Tries Tense. to find center stage. He's running out of time, though. Wait. All right. Still in center. Oh, the turtle. Oh, the excellent jump on the disengage as well. Didi's flashing now. Better watch out. Oh, my God. Wait. I can't believe he went for the bike there. Like, it literally stored him for so long. Getting through the turtle. Didi trying to sneak under and get that up tilt with the anti air, but Game and Watch is so evasive. Oh wow, somehow threads the needle through the bacon. Oh, oh, is that in? He gets the nerf waft. Now that weak nair, that weak nair never <sighs> fails to disappoint. Never fails. We said it before, we say it again. Wow.
Never fails to disappoint. We love that week now. Yeah, but a heartbreaker for the QLD folk. Unfortunately, Bro going to be bowing out at seventh, but a very respectable run nonetheless. Great job, both players. That was so good. Wow. Oh, perfect. Oh. Look at that. God Even damn. like pushed them to the left as well. So yeah. It's like, you, you get a better confirm, you get the better game.